Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a 1989 Sunseeker Portofino 31. Really, really popular Sunseeker of its era. Very much a classic design lines. Flat four deck. It's just Sunseeker. It says Sunseeker through and through. What are you buying when you're buying these older Sunseekers? Is you're buying pedigree. You see on the four deck we've got the anchor anchor winch here with the bollard which is really useful a couple of forward cleats full pit running all the way around fender baskets just here so you can store three fenders either side keep your fenders out of the way but they are very much a pedigree driven boat flat superstructure as well on these this particular one current owner has looks like put a new quite a nice new full gray gray camper cover you've got uh, vhf aerials one and two closed array radar and nav lights on the top there. The other thing which makes you think of these sun seekers of the era is very much the stainless engine vents that you get and the swim platform again very much of the time fairly standard someone's put um, some synthetic teak on here you've got a ladder to get in and out of the water and then access through the back of the canopy into the back of the boat so let's go and have a look on board Normally you'd probably go in through the bathing platform, but this side door is open, so I'll come in here. Into the cockpit. So again, very much as you would expect on a Sunseeker of this age, you've got this large horseshoe semi-circular seating area. This particular one's got two tables on either side. Looks like somebody's replaced the original tables with some perspex which is nice and easy to keep clean underneath all of this seating here on both sides will be storage lockers you've got drinks holders either side somewhere to keep your boat hook speaker over there and then above us here if i take a step back you've got the internal radar arch with lighting and then this is the cover you take out to gain access to the bathing platform so a really decent cockpit area. Another nice thing is then you've got set seating. So you've got navigator seat here for two and a helm seat here for two with a really good view forward on the boat. We can take a quick look at the helm area. Again, upgraded from original, I'm pretty sure, is the Garmin GPS navigator. And then you've got two Garmin repeaters here. Conventional engine gauges, as you would expect. This is a twin engine diesel boat. VHF radio, wipers and trim tab controls, and the slightly older version of Volvo Penta controls. These are cabled, so they're not the EBC engine controls, so they are, you push the lever and it manually adjusts the cable on the throttle. And then over here we've got the uh, trim tabs and Volvo trim controls. Okay, if you were the captain, that's the view you'd get seeing looking forward. As I say, thing is a great place to store the uh, the boat on the foredeck but it does take up a, bit, a little bit of your view and conventional compass here so over the other side as I say you've got the helm seats they're gas storage cupboard on that side large perspex sliding door with a Sunseeker logo on it if you take a couple of steps down it drops us down into the main cabin or the saloon the single saloon boat so forward as you can see here is a very very large again sort of c-shaped seating area storage underneath the seats there's a little bit of storage just forward of the mirror and this table will then drop down into that void because it's a hydraulic table you can see there and i imagine the cushions on the side will fill in and make that a very very large double berth on the starboard side we've got a standard fridge a little bit of storage in here, heater in there, sort of internal chart table or storage space, a couple of cupboards this side and on the right hand side here we have got the main distribution panel for the 12 volt charging and 240 mains and trips for all of the items we looked at on the dashboard. On the port side we've got the galley area I suppose you'd call it, so this lifts up and then under here you've got a sink with mixer tap and then twin burner gas hob 
with a bit of heat protection there. That drops down neatly. An additional storage under here. Cabin, uh, cabin, <laughs> cupboard there, and a couple of pull-out drawers, like so. On the, behind this door, on the port side, we've got the heads. Pretty standard heads. Little storage cupboard under there. Sink, and I suspect that this tap pulls out. Yeah, there you go. And hooks up overhead to give you a shower. That will drain out into the self-draining floor here. And then you've got a standard Jabasco pump, manual pump toilet. Opening port light at the back, which is nice for ventilation. And then there's a mirror on the side here, which again is quite nice because it's got the profile icon of the boat. So that's the heads. Just turn the lights off. Under the, uh, up behind this door, on the starboard side, we've then got the under cockpit sole main cabin, I suppose, or secondary cabin. Little seat here, so you can perch down to when you're getting dressed. Full height locker there, with a little bit of additional storage there. What's really nice is under here, you've got access to the back of the dashboard. So rather than having to pull the dashboard out to adjust any wiring or check anything out, you can access it through that little access cabin. Access hatch. Opening port light there again for ventilation. And if we duck back down, it is a reduced headroom here. But it is a pretty decent sized bed. Once you get in, it lifts up to give you a bit more headroom. Mirror with the icon again. And then round the back there, a couple of storage voids at the back and a very large, very large twin double bed. So there you go. That is a Sunseeker Portofino 31. Decent headroom, I'm five foot seven ish. And I can stand quite quite comfortably. A couple of inches of headroom above me. Put these lights off. But it's very much Sunseeker. It's very much of the era about keeping in the sun. So most of the boat is given away to cockpit space. There is an engine hatch down here. So as I mentioned earlier, this boat's running a couple of Volvo Penta diesels. They actually look in very very good condition. So I expect they've been well looked after. I'll put some engine power details on uh, the video when I finish. Tanky down there. Battery bank that side. Bit of a squeeze, but probably quite a fast running boat. And I'll put the performance numbers in as well later on. So there you go. Sunseeker Portofino 31. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Any comments below, more than welcome and give it a like. I'll see you next time around. Thank you very much.